my darlings and welcome back to my channel today i'm back with some more goodies from my vintage slash antique ephemera collection to share with you guys so let's jump right in right on top we've got this little campers checklist it's just a cute little checklist of things that they suggest you bring camping and it is from the royal bank for a lot of reasons so that's just a quick little, I don't know why I have this in my collection, but I, I guess I just must have liked that it was a cute little checklist. Then next up, we've got this Montezuma Castle National Monument ticket, and it is from the United States Department of the Interior and National Park Service. Short-term entrance permit, and the date of issue, I can't really tell because um, the permit number and the date are kind of confusing. So it looks like it costs only a dollar though. Well, that's pretty cool. So this is what the back looks like. One vehicle is just a dollar. Purchaser only, entry by means other than private vehicle. So I'm assuming like um, a tour bus or something is only 50 cents. So that's pretty cool. Then we've got this little envelope here. And it is for the Matador 40, which looks like it is a little, um, like, shaving blade. What is it called? Oh, this is the front. But, um, it's a little envelope, so it's made in Sweden. It's pretty cool. I think I picked this up for, um, to use in a junk journal, but I probably ended up liking it too much that I kept it for my collection. But, um, I can't really understand, you know, the language on there. But it's pretty cool. It's like a nice, nice material. I don't know what it is. It's like almost like tissue paper. It's really cool. Then, also sorry ahead of time if you hear puppy snoring, but he's sleeping below the camera, so <laughs> you'll be hearing him in the next few videos from my vintage ephemera. <laughs> so this next one is an advertisement for Einsen Brandt Sons imports and manufactures musical instruments wholesale and retail in baltimore i love 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 the design on here so so pretty no saxophone though hmm. and then here oh they covered it with the label from the store but it is for musical instruments oh their building is even so pretty so they sell fine old violins, guitars, mandolins, cornets for the orchestra brass band and drum corps outfits, Baltimore Street. So pretty. Then we've got this little advertisement right here for Prof Horse Ford's self-raising bread preparation. So like flour, I'm assuming. So we've got this little, so we've got this little like extra um, graphic on top. I don't know if it was like maybe like a, to make it 3D, but that's pretty cool to make it layered. So it is for baking powder. Six reasons for using horse Ford's bread preparation. First, it is healthful and nutritious. Second, it will not deteriorate. Third, it is pure. Fourth, it is reliable. Fifth, it is economical. Sixth, no shortening is necessary. And of course, you guys can pause that and read, you know, the paragraphs in there, but pretty cool. So this is in Whitneyville, Maine. I love that it has the little extra um, graphic on here. Let me show you guys up close. Oh, the little girl, so cute. I love that they made her bow pink, but everything else is black and white. I kind of like the coloring on this advertisement it's just pink and black and white it is so cute then last but not least we've got a few more little i think advertisements this first one it looks like this it says if a body kiss a body the lad and lassie fair may kiss as free as air as free as bird or horse's feet while shod with putnam putnam nails complete <laughs> um okay it's for nails what so that's an interesting advertisement. So important to horse owners. Oh, okay, so it's for horse owners. The foot is the most important member of the animal's body to which 
the greatest care and attention should be directed. I'm sorry, I think my camera is like struggling to focus because my brightness is kind of on high. So it says, no foot, no horse. So this is an advertisement for the Putnam nail. Is the only hot forged and hammer pointed horseshoe nail in the world. From Boston, Massachusetts. Pretty cool. I like the colors on the advertisement. It is so pretty. I'm not entirely sure what the kissing has to do with the nail. Not entirely sure, but I like the graphic. <laughs> then we've got this one, which got the Statue of Liberty. You guys already know I'm a New Yorker, so I pick up anything that has to do with New York. <laughs> so this is for Merrick Thread Co. It says, Liberty, enlightening the world as to the best. Six cord thread in the market. So it is for this sewing thread. I love that graphic, it's so nice. So I'm assuming it is from New York or something, since it's got the Statue of Liberty on there. Nope, down here it says that it was from Springfield, Massachusetts, but I don't know if that's just where the graphic um, the person who drew this out is from. And last but not least, we've got this one right here. It says, A Good Angel's Visit, A Tale of Scoville's Sarsaparilla or Blood and Liver Syrup. Mmm. Lovely. It says, now every trace of Scrofula, I'm not sure what any of these things are, has disappeared. Her face, ever marred by blotches, which she feared would never go away, is fair once more and brighter, handsomer than ever before. For all diseases of the blood and liver, something from their fury to deliver, or for a pleasant tonic, all your blood to stir up. Take Scoville's Sarsaparilla or blood and liver syrup. Mmm. Sounds like one of those scammy kind of um, elixirs, you know what I mean? Where they would say like, oh, this would cure everything. Oh, what? Huh? Oh, okay, that's so cool. <laughs> I didn't even know. Okay, so the advertisement starts out like this. It says, once bright and beautiful, a maiden well-beloved adorned the social circle where she moved but in her veins there lurked the poisonous taint of scrofula and many a sad complaint that hid the beauty of her radiant face beneath unseemly blotches nothing could efface but Scoville's sarsaparilla hope and flown had Scoville's blood and liver syrup been unknown so you start out with the ad like this that she has like the blotches all over her face and then look now she's beautiful again also wow I love her dress so so much but look at her, look at the sad faces. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> that is a really great ad. I love this ad so, so much. I, there's no wonder I put this in my collection. I love this so, so much, so unique creative. Anyways, that is it for this little round of my collection that I wanted to share with you guys. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. If you guys liked it, definitely leave a like down below and subscribe so you can keep up with the newer posts that I post. And I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you guys so, so much. I hope you're having a beautiful day. Bye!